I have very low HP. Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. We're at 4421 Southeast Pinehurst Avenue here in Milwaukee, located on the back side of the house. I describe everything as if you're standing in the street looking at the front door next to the air conditioning unit. We got a four inch ABS clean out. We're gonna check the overall condition, serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running, we are zeroed out and off we go. I imagine this is gonna be a long sewer line, so I'm gonna zip the camera along here just to keep momentum up. I would imagine we're gonna probably get out a good 150 feet, if not longer, so. I'm hoping to be able to do it here to help prevent us from having to move to a secondary clean out, but if the line is you know, pushing 250, 300 feet, we're very likely to have to do it in two pieces. Standing water there. Doing a vertical dive here. Looks like we're doing a hard drop. My camera may not round this bend here. We're getting out a long ways right now. In fact, a lot of times when you have this particular configuration, they put a secondary access point in purely because of this reason right here. All right, I'm gonna go locate. I think we're gonna have to move to a secondary. All right, so looks like I'm gonna have to pull back a little bit. I'm kind of in a spot here that's very hard to locate, but it looks like the line gets to about the middle of the backyard and then hangs a right-hand turn. This is how you face this house from the street anyway. So we're gonna pull back to the secondary access point. I'm hoping, I was hoping the secondary was gonna be a little bit closer to this spot. So we do have some standing water here. We're gonna revisit that here in just a moment. From the looks of it there, I can tell a blockage has occurred based on how that debris was hanging from the top of the pipe. Um, but it, it also, that debris is stopping within just a couple feet of that area there, which, which what that indicates is that although a blockage may have happened, it broke loose after only maybe a couple feet of pipe filled up behind it. At least from what I can tell thus far. I'm not sure there's anything beyond that drop that's what we're going to try and get to now. The second half of this run here, I'm going to see if we can do it with the water off. <clears throat> Depends on how far we got to go. Usually when you hit a hard dive like that, that's often an indicator the line's diving down to get down to the level of the main lateral. Wouldn't surprise me if the main is pretty pretty soon after we go through that drop there. We should be seeing the uh, secondary. We possibly went past it already. Essentially everything up till you get to about, I want to say, I have to go back and review, but I think we're at 143 feet where we stopped up there. Oh, everything looks great all the way up to just a few feet prior to that stopping point. 
that again, not, not to say that that standing water is just going to be a backup situation constantly, because that's just not how it works, but. So there's a big clean out in the backyard. And I'm gonna have to zip back out here again line takes a little bit different trajectory than I originally thought. There is a big four inch ABS clean out right in the middle of the backyard. From the looks of it, I think it services a different purpose though. Got the garden hose running this time. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can hunt down an access point here or not. Finally got this thing located here. So there is a clean out that's hidden in the stickers and it's the top of it's busted right now. Which is not surprising. I'm sure someone probably hit it with a brush mower or something like that at some point. Anyway, you've got some standing water in that location there and that's very near where that clean out is. And most, it would not surprise me one bit as to whatever did the damage to that clean out, it's busted good. I mean, it looks like something, either a vehicle hit it, but that may have very well been also what caused the line to settle. If someone backed over that thing with a huge truck, um, I've seen it happen many times before. So, anyway, the standing water there, it's there, but it's, it's also a very, very long distance from the house. It would take a considerable amount of abuse to ever get that spot to get to the point of backing up, but it's possible. 